Alright, so now that the fight's officially over, I think what I want to do here instead of the typical chapter review that I would normally do is just talk about this fight as a whole because I think there's a couple different ways to look at this, right? Because ironically enough, it seems like the majority of the community is having the same reaction that Oda had, and when it comes to Oda as a character, I just find it so interesting how unsatisfied he looked because, again, we know the whole reason Oda started this tournament was to see a bloodbath, right? I mean, we know he needs a successor or else he wouldn't have considered holding this tournament to begin with but it's very clear that he actually wants to see these fights there's no doubt about it but for some reason even though Yaku is straight up destroying William and giving him no chance to react in this chapter you would think this is exactly what Oda wanted to see right but for some reason he just doesn't look happy and this is where it gets tricky because it's not stated why he was upset by the end of the chapter and I know I haven't even started talking about the fight itself yet but I just find it so interesting that we're actually seeing Oda share the same reaction that most of the community had at the end of the fight. Regardless of why exactly Oda reacted the way that he did, do you see where I'm going with this? Because it's almost like the author is admitting in a roundabout way that there is legitimately something wrong here. And I think the main reason for that is us, the readers. We're all just like Oda, right? I mean, think about it. We literally wait every month to see the same exact thing that Oda wants to see. Two of of the best fighters from two different backgrounds in a fight to the death and in a nutshell that's essentially why we're reading this manga but even though we just saw that happen at two different times already we're now seeing Oda for the first time show a completely different reaction here but even more than that it's pretty much the same way that I'm seeing most of the community react and regardless of how you guys feel about the fight I think the bigger picture that I want to get across to you is that the story could have just kept the ball rolling and tried to sell it by showing a better reaction from him right and to be fair we did get some of that but from Mori when he's talking about Yagyu he says an endless absolutely savage attack without even a single weak point this is insane but I get it with the past two matches I just had fun watching them fight to the death but not you Munanori you killed them all of them inside your head Honda's loyalty Musashi's raw talent Toda's resistance Fuma's pride you had plenty you wanted to carve away from them so this is really interesting because Mori is having the complete opposite reaction that Oda had. He even says he has to get Yagyu's autograph by the end of the chapter. But if you just read between the lines here, the author is ultimately explaining to us why it makes sense for Yagyu to win here and not William. And it's very important that you understand that. Do you see where I'm going with this? Because in the same breath that the author is using Mori to justify Yagyu winning the fight for being this kind of mad genius, it's also trying to make it make sense for us as the readers. So we're already prepared for who ends up winning the fight. But despite Mori explaining to us why it somehow makes sense for Yagyu to just destroy William throughout this entire chapter, it's like the majority of us in the community can't accept that, like this should have been way more competitive. And like I keep saying, regardless of whether or not we know why Oda looks so unsatisfied, I would just have to imagine that the purpose of seeing his reaction is to admit, yeah, that there is something wrong here, regardless of what Mori had to say. But to be honest guys, I have to admit, I actually like this fight. Now, I'll be be honest it absolutely could have been so much better right but in terms of what I expected when I first started reading this manga I want to say that as a fight and only as a fight it just makes sense I'm not really sure how to explain it like as manga readers we're just so used to five to ten chapters of action backstory and monologues maybe some power feats and that's pretty much the norm that we expect to see in tournament battle manga but then suddenly there's a fight like this and in my opinion it just didn't translate well from a story into manga because again the majority of tournament battle manga readers are just so used to the typical 5 to 10 chapters that we presume is like the number one standard that all tournament battle manga have to follow and again I'm talking about this purely as a fight believe me I have so many more issues with the writing and the characters but speaking purely from the perspective of a fight fan I honestly enjoyed what I got only as a fight fan and it's like I said I just think as a story it had no choice but to poorly transition itself into the manga since the people who typically read tournament battle manga have somehow already decided unanimously what a tournament battle manga fight should be like. And this is going back to everything I said about Oda because it's almost like the author is using Oda to admit that this fight is not what you were all hoping for if you did not like it. But it's like the author tries to sell the fight regardless by using Mori to promote why it makes sense for Yagyu to win. So even though I said the fight poorly transitioned itself from a story into the 
the manga. I think that really only applies for the people who didn't enjoy the fight. But personally, I think as a fight and only as a fight, I'm just not mad at it. I honestly like it, but I'd have to say that my biggest issue with it would no doubt have to be William. Overall, I think there's honestly no way you can reasonably compare him to Honda or Toda because Honda and Toda just had so much more to their characters. But William was just evil for the sake of being evil, I guess, and what's even worse is it's almost like a spit in his face when we see he's about to die and he starts talking about his voyage and we see that flashback of him as a kid and it just felt like a really cheap and desperate attempt to redeem him into someone even remotely likable. So overall, it just hurt to see William go down as one of the most poorly written characters that we've seen so far and again, it just sucks that you can't compare him to characters like Honda or Toda. And this is why when it comes to tournament battle manga, I always make the point to separate myself as a fight fan from a manga reader. Because as a fight fan, I enjoyed the fight. I think Yagyu's technique in this chapter was one of the coolest attacks in the entire manga so far to be honest, but that's really just me turning my brain off and enjoying it purely as a fight fan. But on the other hand, I know at the end of the day, this is still just a story and whether the quality is high or not should have nothing to do with how I felt when I enjoyed it or not. But besides everything I found wrong with this fight, I still think there were some good moments, like how the story switched sides and actually made it Yagyu come off as this blood hungry psychopath instead of William this time. So I think that was a nice touch, especially since William was being hyped up as this demon who had come to terrorize the country. So it was interesting to see Yagyu come off like the anti-hero for that. But at the same time, it meant William was just used as a foil. So it makes it even worse to see him used as a device rather than just build him as a character. And I don't think I'd say Yagyu's a poorly written character either, but I don't know. I guess I just would have liked to see more from him as a character, at least enough to make him seem as cool as his fighting technique because again, seeing his forbidden art unending cycle was just insane. And in terms of the fight being too short or not, I'm gonna be honest, I just don't agree that every tournament battle manga fight needs to be 5 to 10 chapters long if it can get its point across, right? Now I'm not saying that the fight had a perfect amount of chapters either, but to say that the fight is too short just feels like a really lazy way to say it sucked in my opinion. Like there's just so many more things things wrong with it that whether it was too short or not just feels irrelevant at that point. But alright guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. I hope this didn't sound like a rant because that was not my intention here. I mean, for what it's worth, the art was just so good this chapter. I don't know how I would have kept reading if it wasn't for all the hype I felt going through the panels. Again, I hope I didn't come off too ranty here, so if you like the video and want to see more Tenkaichi chapter reviews, then please make sure you subscribe. I'll absolutely be reviewing the next chapter here on the channel like always so make sure you subscribe to stay updated and of course feel free to let me know in the comments how you all felt about this chapter or how you felt about the fight i know there's plenty of mixed opinions going around so feel free to comment down below anything you agreed or disagreed with and like always if you like the video please leave a like i'd greatly appreciate it and that's gonna be the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and yeah have a great day